Many Filipinos do not have much of a recollection of what happened during World War II. They might have some old photographs. Maybe they've seen a movie. Perhaps they've even inherited a paper or two from their ancestors. On November 3, a few weeks ago, we were reminded of the greatness of our history. Houston was visited by a distinguished, retired, high-ranking Filipino-American of the U.S. Army by the name of Major General Antonio Tuguba, retired. He was the second American citizen of Philippine birth to be promoted to general officer rank in the Army. He spoke about a bill that will impact many Filipino-Americans. So what is this bill? The mission? To raise awareness through academic research and public education and obtain national recognition of the Filipino-American World War II soldiers for their wartime service to the United States and Philippines from July 1941 to December 1946. Now, there is a bill going through the House to get the vets what supporters say is due to these veterans, the Congressional Gold Medal, the highest civilian honor. The Major General explained that the bill is scheduled for a vote on November 29, 2016, one of the last legislative sessions of the Obama administration. Congress will vote if World War II Filipino veterans will receive the Congressional Gold Medal. The bill has already passed the Senate last July. Although the bill has a current supermajority of 312 co-sponsors, 18 of those happen to be from Texas, the bill has yet to be brought to the floor for a vote, and President Obama must still sign it before the end of his administration. The nation eagerly waits if the World War II Filipino veterans will finally be recognized. If the bill does not pass, we will need to start all over with the new presidency and resolicit support from a new Congress. And I don't want to face the prospect of having to face a cohort and tell them that we didn't make it this year. Mm -hmm. We're going to make it this year. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's what we're going to plan to do. Filipino soldiers of World War II fought and died for the same reasons American soldiers did. The preservation of democracy and freedom around the world. In many instances, they fought together under the same commander. But it is vital to remember that they were not just fighting for their homeland. They were defending, protecting, and ultimately liberating sovereign territory held by the United States of America. Throughout the entire course of World War II, the Philippines remained a territory of the United States. If the bill passes, the Filipino Veteran Recognition and Education Project will need the help of the community to identify all World War II veterans or their next of living kin who qualify to receive a bronze replica of the Congressional Gold Medal. Families will need to provide some evidence for wartime service of their loved ones in order to qualify. Also, additional fundraising will need to be collected to help with the minting of the replicas for the families. Individuals who would like to show their support will walk a Bataan Memorial Death March at the White Sand Missile Range on March 18, 2017. The march will commemorate the 75th anniversary of the start of World War II in December 1941. The march is usually attended by about 6,000 people from all across the United States. This is one of the most highly attended events celebrating an event of the Philippines with the Philippine Americans. So for more information or to show your support via social media or fundraising, please go to philvetrep.org. Or to join in on the 75th anniversary Baton Memorial Death March, go to the Facebook page, 75 for the 75th. Phil Ams to run the Baton Memorial Death March. So keep your ears open for news on November 29, 2016, when the bill to recognize World War II Filipino veterans hits the floor of Congress for a vote. The world is hopeful. Any other advice that you have to give? Well, my thought, final thought is that let's do it for them. We are not doing it for ourselves. Mm -hmm. They accomplished their mission in giving us the freedom that we enjoy today. Uh, they gave us the, the life for the future. Uh, to them, they made a huge sacrifice. And so if they accomplished their mission, we ought to accomplish the mission for them.